Bada boom. Bada bing. You can so hear my doing... keyboard. Wait, that's awesome. Are we doing all or just top eight? Uh, we are doing just top eight. All BO5. This is sick. Nice. All right. Uh, sick. Stream still up for you guys in call. Perfect. Yeah. Right, you guys good to start? Yeah. Uh, I should be. Let's, yeah. uh, let's get this on. I don't know much about these players, so I don't have a lot of backstory to add when it comes to them. So we'll build that's, up a that, character that's a good as we thing. go. It is. It's always thing. a lot of fun to that... new people. That means that the novice bracket is new players, and it's good that we don't know them. You know, we get some fresh blood in the scene. All right. All right. Okay, so, all right. so it's Eli SF, right? Sweet. I thought it was Ellis. <laughs> so uh, what's immediately noble is that this is, an, uh, this is an Olympia Crag matchup. Now, I'm not actually not much of a Crag expert, but luckily my co-commentator is, so I would actually like your opinion on what you think about this matchup, Sean. I actually, I kind of prefer playing Olympias, they're really fun to edge guard off stage. Uh, using things like your down special and your rock, it, uh, it makes for some really cool interactions like right here. Um, you can you can kind of just do whatever you want. You can hit the Olympia player with any of your aerials and they all usually work out. Rock is also a very good tool in the matchup, but rock's a good tool in every single matchup, so. You can definitely tell that this Krag's a bit more inexperienced with the way he will simply just raw side B in, which isn't necessarily a great option because that leaves you liable to getting parried by your opponent. Yes. Uh, the next level is the mix-up, where you turn right before they parry, and then you can hit them because they can't parry right away. You notice that, especially since they're they're likely newer, they're, you see them kind of rocking back and forth, trying to keep some distance, like almost like third strike level footsies here, where they're just they're keeping their distance, they're waiting for the other person to make the move. Which uh, yeah, I, I, I'm certainly while an example of patient neutral is also kind of an example of perhaps they're not really sure what the matchup is or how to wield their characters necessarily, which isn't a bad thing, you know that comes with experience, but it's good to know that they're not just brashly rushing in. Yeah, it definitely seems like Cowboy Dan, whenever he's in disadvantage, uh, just doesn't really know like where to get back into neutral. But once he hits that one hit, he's like, okay, cool, I kind of know what comes next, but I'm just going to throw out any arrow and see what works. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit too slow off that up air. I really like that side B to catch the roll there. Very smart playing here from this Olympia. Very much a fan of the way he's controlling Crag. Really just boxing him out, keeping his space. Being slightly aggressive off stage, which I do like to see, especially since Olympia has very good off stage tools in my opinion. And doesn't doesn't necessarily have bad recovery with his uh with, with her downbeat cancels. Yeah, yeah, it's uh really good unique tools for Olympia. Um but like I had said earlier, she can get stuffed out by things like Fantastic. The, yeah. the crystal catch into the up B. Yes. I like that. That's a, a really tough way to not die whenever you get hit by the Olympia up special. The property eye is just like, oh, your stick. <laughs> if you hold really? far too in, you die off the top at at, at the higher percentages. Uh, and if you hold far too out, you, you go off the side less. Zones. It is a bit situational, though, because sometimes you want, like, if you get hit, like, near the flat top, you do want to hold down, but you don't want to risk going off the side. Yeah. Neutral uh, DI well, is like your default, though. Position. You're all right. But there are times mm. to hold up and times to hold up or down depending on uh which blast zone is staring you in the eye a bit more yes again the uh olympia seems to be a bit more of an experienced player using a lot of knowledge checks getting really good parry timing uh i expect to see perhaps this olympia control the set a bit heavier but oh. i hope this crag is able to pull it around you know figure out what he's got to do and fix his mistakes yeah Let's cowboy then seems like Maybe he's a tiny, teeny bit too slow on, on getting some conversions. Maybe waiting a little too long on, on seeing what DI uh, Eli is trying to put in. Is it Eli or Ellie? I think it's Eli because on the tag there's a, uh, a space. I thought it was LSF at first. Yeah. Good patience on the crag there, not jumping into oh, the, the raw F smash, but. Unfortunately, pillar a bit too low for him to really make any lemonade. Yeah, and uh, in those recovery types of situations as Craig, you can save your air dodge and your double jump. That way, you single hop off your pillar and then pillarless, wall hop, and then you can either double jump wave land back onto the stage or you can just double jump and pillarless again. Yep. 
Oh, also uh, an, another small another small complaint, uh, Zumander, on the thing you have my Twitch and Twitter mixed up. That's just minor. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, he's almost repeated edge guards here. Two stuff from Cowboy Dan. But once again, Eli coming out. Oh, okay. Good patience, waiting for the parry to punish it. I liked that reaction with the uh, with the side beam, knowing that he was likely going to pop Crystal, perhaps giving him a bit of time to approach. Yeah. Does Crystal catch uh, Crag while he's at side B, by the way? So, uh, the way it works is you'll keep spinning, and once you come out, that's when it pops. Oh, that's nasty. Basically, it's, really it's you're crystalled, but you still get to side B. So, yeah. if your side B ends, whatever crystal duration is left immediately like is just active for that however long you it would have left. But in theory, you could side B through the entire duration of it if you're hit early. That's it's a really interesting to watch. Oh. It's honestly kind of a jank interaction. Oh, uh, uh, I see what you wrong direction. Yeah, yeah. Like a different direction. That was a smart help. catch, oh, though. But the using, flub. That was a smart option, though, using the, using the down B to catch the Olympia side B, mm -hmm. which probably would have set Olympia <gasps> up for a nice uh, sweet spot F uh, affair. I almost said F air. Jesus. <laughs> Play it nice, folks. I uh, I haven't had I haven't uh, have got no sugar in my body. Okay, I like this patient play from both of them. Eli really using tools for, for gem to jump out of way back land, wave land back on the platforms. Oh, look at that. That's super sick. I like that. Ooh, could have double dip, but I guess a little bit scared. That's okay. That's okay. Oh. Still got the stock anyway, so what does it matter? Barely missing recovery there. That 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 does feel bad. Oh, <laughs> oh I, yeah, if that rock wasn't there, that would have been a really smart option to finish that stock. Yeah. Olympia at high percents here. Uh, essentially, you're just going to have to throw out a, a hard hit here with Craig. Oh, I'm nearly missing the up air. There you go. All right, Cowboy Dan. A little bit lapped in percent here, stock down, but... These are situations right here where you can close out that stock and even it up. Oh, maybe that was supposed to be dropped down there. It turned into a jab. I've been there. <laughs> yeah, I, I just it's always funny. Like whenever you throw the rock, you're like, oh, God, my face. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you like I like be... that option. That is super sick. Good wow. stuff from Eli. Wow. Are you going to be able to make it back to stage? <gasps> you are. Let's go. Eli just seems like the more great parry. Oh, I would have preferred an up smash there. I feel like that would have killed. I would have preferred dash away in the up smash because you definitely would have killed. That's true. Especially with the blast zones on forest, uh, Frozen Fortress. Yeah. I almost said forest floor. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> well, um, then up smash would have been the better option. <laughs> Eli, Eli really does seem like the more experienced player here, and it really is working to his benefit. Yeah. Cowboy Dan, though, hanging out. Still in there. This He's isn't undoable. Let's see the rapids. Oh, crouch. Oh, uh, crouch in those situations there. He might, oh, again, no. it's. He, Eli really able to exploit his opponent here, just knowledge checking him. Uh, mm -hmm. Interaction after interaction. Which, Cowboy Dan's not even necessarily playing bad. He just doesn't quite know what to do yet. But I, I there's a lot of potential there. I feel like if he just keeps at the game, he'll. Um, He'll do a lot better than uh, he'll he'll do, he'll do pretty well. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean, you, you always see it. Like I said earlier, you know, edge guarding Olympia off stage is really fun. And every time he was edge guarding oh, Ellie, uh, not Ellie, Jesus, edge guarding Eli off stage, it looked fun. He just needs to find a way to close it out, and then he might win the next game. All right, so off to true pull. Craig's, they like the stage. It is a decent stage. Okay, I like that wave land of down tilt. It was just a little too far away. Here we go. Look at us. All right, reading the rollout. Ooh, good back air. <laughs> sneak, sneak a little hit in there. There you go.
Eli has the epitome of of the the two piece, the two three piece combos. Gets out, goes back to neutral, does his thing, and I like it. It's been working the whole set. Oh, okay, a little bit too far to try and cover with the down special, but that's okay. You doing all right? Well, you're pushing back off stage. I was expecting to see a fair there to try to finish off Eli. I think that might have been a bad option, but that's what certainly I was expecting to see. There you go, wow. nice double nair into up smash. I like it. Using the double nair to put him on platform and an up smash to finish it off, where Eli yeah. didn't really have many other options but to parry. And he just didn't quite get the timing. Again, Eli really using these side Bs to catch a roll. Really just good reads here from Eli. Yeah. Not being able to capitalize off of that off that down B, however, that is unfortunate. Ooh, fair that rock. Or nair that Ooh. rockets. That's still another good one. Nair four. It's quicker too. Yeah, and therefore sick. Confirms in a lot of good stuff. That up smash not gonna oh. kill. A bit more of an even game than we're used to. Hopefully Cowboy Dan can see himself uh okay. <laughs> put something on the board here. Oh, an up air that would have been yeah, so good. Yeah, I was expecting an up air there too. The dark but, yo, up air. look at that, look at that. So that'd be up smash gonna close it out. And look at you. you you're ahead for the first time in the set. And you're doing the thing. All right, and then I talk. He's still ahead. He's still yeah, ahead. Yeah, you're still ahead by 20%. 20%. Now do your two three-piece combos, and you reset it back to neutral. Uh, like a delicious Popeye's dinner. Exactly. Exactly. All right, wow. Dude, this is like an eight-piece combo right now from Eli. Oh my lord, is it? Oh, I was expecting I was expecting the fair to finish it off, but he didn't want to take that risk, and that's understandable. Okay. Nice recovery, nice recovery. Okay, good. A little slow on the fingers, I understand. It's perfectly fine. Oh wow, that like good catch, just hit. Crystal. Oh no, you're alive. That's you're alive. not you're gonna be it. He's gonna go for another side B. Really testing his luck here. Mm, okay, cool. Ooh, you broke good the thing, but how are you gonna get back now? Gonna All go right. pillarless. Getting caught mm, by the crystal. He's yeah, out of options. Yeah. Valiant effort here from Dan, despite the 3-0. I really was impressed with what I saw. Uh, but Eli just being more experienced, being able to just, you know, use Olympia in a way that perhaps Dan wasn't really prepared for. And you really saw just that those knowledge checks coming out from Eli interaction after interaction, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just means that he knew what to do and certainly had a plan going into it. So you like to see that from your yeah. players. I definitely like the set. The set was really good. Uh you definitely see the adjustments from Dan later, which was uh, 